we'll do Ali Tofiq open up. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Welcome to uh, the first elections for the American Muslim Bar Association. We are um, ecstatic to have you all here uh, to participate in this um, democratic uh, process uh, for our nascent uh, organization, alhamdulillah. Uh, before I ask uh, Brother Ali Tawfiq, who's our returning education chair, um, to uh, say a few words about um, today's um, auspicious uh, day, which is the birth anniversary of Imam Rada alayhi salam. Um, please, if everyone could recite a loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Sheikh Ali. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, I'd like to just share this famous hadith that we have from Umar alayhi salam. Uh, goes uh, I've heard from Imam Rida uh, say Rahimallahu abdan ahya amrana so may Allah have mercy upon the servant who uh, revives our will, our words, our commands and so I asked him uh, the narrator saying well kayfa yuhi amrakum so how is your command revived? Um, your affairs are revived. For them to learn uh, our, and be taught our knowledge and to teach the people. And for if the people were to have learned about the beauties of our statements in our words, they would most certainly have followed us. Please recite a salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. MashaAllah, thank you so much for that, Sheikh Ali, Tawfiq. Um, and for your words uh, throughout the year, I think you've really been a spiritual uh, you know, guide and, and center for us throughout this year this this year of growth um initial growth alhamdulillah so just to lay the the land uh lay out the the plan for tonight uh we're hoping to end within an hour uh we'll begin with um just some remarks for myself and sister selma um myself being the outgoing vice president and sister selma being the outgoing president of the organization uh, we will be um actually going on to the board of directors um, and then after that, uh, we'll have a vote an, uh, through online poll uh, here on Zoom. And then we will turn it over to the, the new board, uh, the new executive committee to introduce themselves, inshallah. Um, and then there'll be just some informal question and answer. Um, and I think that's it. So, uh, so I'll begin, inshallah. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, it is with a great sense of gratitude that I start my remar remarks tonight. Being a part of the founding leadership board of the American Muslim Bar Association has been an incredible honor. Working alongside some of the most motivated and committed people I've ever had the privilege of working with. Um, earlier today, I sent out a one-year recap of what we accomplished tangibly uh, this past year. So I won't reiterate all that here, but please do take a few minutes to read through it on our Facebook page and other social media where we've shared it. What I do want to emphasize tonight is that what we're building here is a new type of American Muslim institution built on principles, not just Muslim identity, which makes it different from most American Muslim organizations. In fact, that was one of the reasons the founders came together initially, because of the many times we felt marginalized for our views, which were based on principle versus pragmatism, on human value versus expediency in many Muslim spaces. The idea here was to represent Muslim American lawyers in a manner that speaks truth to power fearlessly. We wanted to establish a unique American institution based on the values of the Ahl Bayt that would advocate on both domestic and international issues intersectionally without aligning ourselves to any political party. The idea for AMBA was to provide a radical alternative to legal community organizing and activism standing independently as a powerful and principled voice in our society. And I can say that we have taken one step towards that. 
one solid substantial step this year. And now it's up to the next slate of leadership to take the next step. Because the AMBA was never meant to be personality driven, but value driven. The days of charismatic figureheads is over. As Muslims, we await only one just charismatic leader to come. We believe fully in that eventuality. Until then, we come together to build a foundation as servant leaders, laying a strong framework for all those who want to help the oppressed and persecuted achieve justice without ego, full of faith. And that is my prayer for AMBA, inshallah, that our success is measured by our intention, not our results, which are only in the power of Allah to provide. As for me, I am here at your service, inshallah. Salawat. Allahumma uh, Please, Sister Salma, if you could um, say a few words. Sure. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Peace and blessings on all um, you beautiful lawyers and law students and a lot of new faces here who are joining our new board for this next year. I'm so happy to see all of you and it's, it's quite auspicious that um, today is the birth anniversary of Imam Ali Rada. Uh, my last name, Rizvi, actually um, descends from Imam Ali Rada in Iran. Uh, and so while I haven't had the honor and pleasure to visit my great, 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 great grandfather, <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, it's really unique that we live in this time where the visitation to his shrine is essentially criminalized by the U.S. government. So I carry within me blood that is um, a threat, as do most and all of you, um, just being Muslim American. And so the work of this organization is, is really um, auspicious. It's very timely. And it, it really demonstrates just the struggle that we're in um, carrying with us uh, these principles that Muhammad Ali uh, mentioned, um, as well as our identity and faith. Um, just to give kind of a state of the union of where we started and where we are now, um, those principles we had decided on early in the year are love, justice, mercy, and compassion. These four principles are the bedrock of what it means to be Muslim, what it means to be Muslim American, and what the Ahlul Bayt taught us. Uh, years ago, Muhammad Ali and I spoke about the dire need for organizing Muslim Americans in the legal community in a way that benefited the broader Ummah, um, both domestically and internationally. As we were both raised Shia Muslim, we knew from the story of Imam Hussein that the purpose of our life here on earth is to establish justice, even if it is against ourselves and even if it leads to our own persecution. And this steadfast desire to change inequities in America was in fact spawned by our faith and the practices we learned growing up from the Ahlul Bayt, the family of the prophet, most of whom were all murdered um, while seeking justice and using their eloquence to speak truth to power. So we know that in America, we are not alone, that there are hundreds of Muslim lawyers across the countries who are set on changing the law and politics in our nation the land that we now belong through either by immigration or by birth. We also knew that tapping into this energy of those Muslims who are seeking to sacrifice their time for the betterment of the community required strategic thought and sophisticated organization. Yet it wasn't until a young rising Harvard Law student, Mahmoud Rizvi, encouraged us all to meet on WhatsApp and organically grow a base of us that we finally began to transform our ideology into a practice. To that end, I'm grateful for the strengths that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given all the leaders this past year to help establish AMBA and its six committees. First, the Legal Resources Committee. Uh, aims to provide legal resources to those in need, particularly to the most vulnerable in society, because too often our Muslim American community members have difficulty navigating and transversing our complex legal system. We have to be there to help fill this gap. Advocacy, um, our amazing advocacy committee has written a number of statements this past year with a voice that represents a diverse conglomerate of AMBA attorneys. 
as we know, the Athlo Bates were always at the forefront of speaking this truth to power. And this committee aims to be that fearless voice for AMBA, demanding justice and accountability grounded in principled legal arguments. The Mentorship Committee ensures that we are developing the next generation of Muslim American legal scholars, leaders, practitioners. It is only through a robust community of Muslim lawyers serving as clerks, U.S. attorneys, judges, partner, partners, public defense, defenders everywhere that we can really start to reform the justice system in America. And our education system, uh, committee is unique that it seeks to empower and equip our community members with knowledge of their legal rights in the United States as citizens entitled to equal treatment under the law. But it also seeks to provide education related to Islamic jurisprudence about personal matters such as marriage contracts, divorce, wills, and estates. We aren't afraid to use the word Sharia. This word should not be demonized. The policy committee ensures that the materials that AMBA produces, particularly those of the advocacy and education committees, reach not only our local community members, but also leaders in the legislature and the executive branch. And lastly, our, our, our latest judiciary committee, also known as the standing committee for the federal judiciary, responds to candidates seeking judicial nominations to the federal bench and, hope, and those hoping to obtain AMBA endorsements in the process. The endorsement process can be found in our Standing Committee for the Federal Judiciary Guide. So subhanAllah, these six committees and this structure has been built. Um, and we are hoping that this next year, that the, the next group of leaders continues to build upon the work that has already been done, the, 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 the framework and the foundation that has been laid for all of you, the next generations in le of leaders, inshallah. And beyond this strategic vision and these committees and the structure that has been built this last year, subhanAllah, um, in providing Muslim lawyers with a space to give back and to strategically organize under a collective voice, we have also been intentional about creating a culture that is inclusive and welcoming. At no time shall this organization operate without at least half of its leadership board being comprised of women and another half being comprised of Muslim minorities. While we understand that identity politics are not the most adequate medium for representation, we do believe that Muslim minorities, often descending from generations of trauma, and Muslim women who continue to operate in a largely patriarchal society need to be centered and uplifted. We are certain that AMBA will always remain an inclusive, open, and welcoming space for all Muslim lawyers and law students, inshallah, for years to come. With that, I am so thrilled to be handing this organization over to an awe-aspiring slate of leaders. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity to put my leadership experience to the test this past year and trusting me to help guide you all. I'm forever indebted to all of you and all that you have taught me and all that you've helped me to grow uh, this past year. Jazakallah to each of you. And please remember my family and I in your duas. You are a fantastic group of leaders and you're always going to be in my duas. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much um, for those uh, important and heartfelt remarks. Um, we're, we're all indebted to you, uh, Sister Salma. I think, uh, you know, we've been friends for so long and um, you are my junior, but I, I definitely felt guided by you so many times um, throughout this year. And I'm just very grateful for that. So I want to thank you personally as well. Um, so Sister Inzi, are we ready for uh, the poll? So we're going to do the official elections for AMBA. Um, and hopefully a poll will appear on the screen. And hopefully it'll show. Uh... Can you all see it? Yep. Yep. Slate okay. options. So you should be able to see. Please cast your vote for the 2021 slash 22 AMBA Executive Committee. Slate options, slate one, Adil Bashir, Hanna Chandu, Insia Aziz, and Hassan Sheikh, and then uh, abstention. So if you could all go uh, ahead and vote now. Hopefully the uh, results will be up in a few seconds. We have like two people left, but I might just show them. I don't know. I don't <laughs> think it matters to be honest. But it's like the super abstention, like 
I, I don't I don't think I voted. I'm I don't think I'm seeing it. Oh Are no. You, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there might be a button that's that you can quit or click. Sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll cast my vote verbally for the record, um, and I I definitely vote uh, and encourage um, the new slate of officers, Mashallah, Adil, Hanna, Hassan, and Insia to take over. Can you all see the results? Let me see. Ninety-five <laughs> percent. Wow, Mashallah. Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. I'd like to officially congratulate the new executive committee for AMBA, um, and uh, would like to start um, by asking uh, Brother Hassan Sheikh to introduce yourself as the uh, both uh, last year's and 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 uh, continuing treasurer for the upcoming year. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, I see a lot of, uh, you know, familiar faces here and a lot of new faces, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, one of them who arrived very, very early, I appreciate that a lot. Um, I think there's a lot of energy in this community for exactly this project. I think that we really have, we, there may have been other organizations that attempted this, but over time, they were not able to become multi-generational. And as a result of that, they haven't been able to maintain their energy and expand and deepen it, in fact. Uh, and I think this project has been really important. And as you know, every seed requires light and uh, sunlight and water and soil. Uh, and I think we've had equal parts sunlight and, uh, and water from these two wonderful outgoing leadership members uh, and from everybody on the board. I think everybody has made themselves the soil for the seed to grow in. And that really means a lot. Um, I wanted a second shot at uh, another, another opportunity, another year with as treasurer, because I think there's a lot of opportunity for growth in this organization. I think we can build a huge membership because there are actually a lot more of us than we think we, we, that, that there are. You always think you're alone. And then you realize when you reach out, there's so many more people who are like you. Uh, and I really want to focus on that, that recruitment up, uh, aspect of things and the expansion of all these beautiful committees we have. Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for having me in this past year. I uh, really appreciated working with this incredible first executive committee. And uh, I'm very grateful to my slate mates for having me again. Uh, inshallah, may the Lord give us uh, his guidance for the coming year so that we are even more successful and take AMBA to the next level. With that, I'd like to pass it over uh, to Sister Insia. But before I do that, I just wanted to mention that Sister Ana Chandu, unfortunately, uh, due to um, some uh, difficulty in travel arrangements, is, is actually in the mountains right now on a retreat with her family and would be, will be unable to make it here today. But she is sending her salam to all of you, uh, her warm thoughts, and uh, certainly her optimistic thoughts for the coming year. Uh, and a lot of gratefulness to uh, Sister Salma and, and Brother Muhammad Ali as well. So with that, I'll pass it on to uh, Sister Nsia Aziz, our, our new secretary. Um, I've met a lot of y'all. It's really great to see you guys, even though it's on Zoom. Um, I'm really excited to be on the executive committee. I think it'll be really cool. And I feel like I've already learned so much from the fantastic people in AMBA. And I hope that that'll continue to happen. Um, I, please don't get tired of me quickly. I'm sure I'll be sending y'all tons of emails. Um, so sorry in advance. But yeah, I'm really excited and thank you all for having me. And with, and with that, assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, I, this is the first time I have the honor of uh, greeting all of you as your new president. So with the, uh, I would like to extend a warm welcome and just read a, a brief statement that we prepared on behalf of our new executive committee and get an opportunity to talk and introduce all of our chairs as well. So without further ado, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficial, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of myself, Sister Hana, Sister Insia, and Brother Hassan, we are honored and humbled to serve as the 2021 AMBA Executive Committee. Now, before I go any further, we'd all like to give our sincerest thanks to AMBA's founding leadership 
and commend them on all they've accomplished over the past year. You've heard them talk about this this evening, from an idea that was long overdue to now what is a fully incorporated grassroots powerhouse. In just a remarkably short time, you have turned AMBA into what it is today and what we all know, a network of attorneys and students inspired by the principles of the Ehla Bayt, guided by the most important values of love, justice, compassion, and mercy, and most, most important, focused on serving the needs of the community and giving a voice to those who are often the most marginalized. I've gotten to know many of you, some of you, and a lot of you over the last few weeks. I can honestly say you all embody the principles and values of the Ehel Bayt in both your work and your characters. And so in that sense, and I mean this with all my heart, you really do inspire all of us in AMBA, and you certainly inspired me to take on this role. So I'd just like everyone to take a moment and make dua for them. And inshallah, may Allah reward you all for your efforts and, and truly for everything that you've started here today. Amin. Now I wanna take just one special moment to um, really give thanks to Sister Salma for all her leadership um, and everything that she's so, shown in the last time, the, the last few weeks that I've gotten to know her. You know, I must say, I really, over these last few weeks, found myself in awe, um, while other times really wondering how anyone, including myself, can follow in her footsteps. And I've thought about it quite a bit, and the only answer I can come up with is, I really can't, and I don't think anyone else can. But I think that's okay, and it's really something um, Sister Salma, Brother Muhammad Ali, uh, Sister Hana, Brother Hassan, Sister Ansia, they've all talked to me individually and really impressed upon a theme that you're hearing tonight and hopefully will continue on going forward, which is each of you have stressed upon me that AMBA is not an organization about an individual person. It's not about personality. It's about serving others. It's about being inclusive. And something Brother Muhammad Ali, a term he used, which I, I, I really love, this is a third space for Muslims, a space outside of an MSA, an MLSA, outside of Muslim, that really embraces and celebrates the differences among us. You not only told me that, but you've shown me that and welcoming me as well. You've shown me that AMBA is meant to serve a greater purpose than any one person can offer. And even if that person is amazing, a sister Soma, which we, I think all would agree. So what I really wanna promise all of you today is that I've listened to that message, trying to take that message into heart about AMBA. And I really hope to just serve the best that I can and serve with my slate mates, the best that we can in this upcoming year. I mean. Now, looking back at this past year, the inaugural leadership team has remained laser focused on building a solid foundation for AMBA so that this organization can thrive for years. And inshallah, in our sophomore year, we, the newly elected executive committee, we're gonna strive not only to just emulate that success, but as you've heard tonight, do what one does when a solid foundation is put down. And really the theme we wanna build on in this upcoming year is that AMBA will look more and more like the blueprint that the amazing founders have put together. And inshallah, we want to use the core principles, love, justice, compassion, and mercy as, if you will, the four walls of our structure holding AMBA up for the years to come. So as we build this organization out, it'll always have this foundation and always be guided by these principles. Because as Brother Muhammad Ali said, this is an organization about principles, not personalities. And to that end, we, I personally am very grateful and excited to work with all these new, talented, brilliant people um, to continue not only the work that we've done, but bring forth new ideas that will guide us in the future. I've gotten to talk to many of you. Uh, we'll hopefully get to speak with a lot of you this week as well read the outgoing board's transition memos, listen to some new ideas as well. I can't wait for us to all to get together. Few things in life make me happier than putting a plan together and, uh, and seeing it through. So I can't wait to see what we can accomplish this year. And I'm very confident we're gonna accomplish a lot and keep building on AMBA. And I wanna just 
make one message to all of our members, which you heard in Brother Hassan's comments as well. We're not alone and AMBA's lifeline are our members and that's what makes this organization work and that's what's gonna make this organization grow. And I think I can speak for all of us here. We wanna hear from our members. We want this year to even engage with our members more. We wanna grow the organization from our young energy, from our more seasoned members spread around and really have multi-generational multi and nationwide really truly represent an American Muslim Bar Association. And if there's any issues that are affecting the local community, resources that you think we should be providing, educational events, issues that you wanna see put on, this goes to the committee members, this goes out to all our members. Issues that you believe that we should be on the front lines of speaking out on, we wanna hear that from you. And that's what we're here for. So speak up and you'll always have a voice and you'll always have an ear to listen to. Now I'll just close by saying, as attorneys inspired by the Ahlul Bayt, you know, we all come from different backgrounds and we practice or aspire to practice different areas of the law, but we are united in our desire to advocate for justice and speak truth to power wherever we see injustice incur. The Ahlul Bayt represents an ultimate sacrifice and we heard that tonight as well. And I thought, in thinking about this evening, it really made me think, at its core, it also represents something else that's important to all of us, which is family. And so, and I say this with full sincerity, I want to consider all of you, not only my brothers and sisters in Islam, but also part of an AMBA family. And as the saying goes, family sticks together, works together, stands up for each other. They let each other know when someone's falling short, and they love each other unconditionally. And this organization is about love, justice, compassion, and mercy. That's what AMBA is about. And I really think we can show the world that. And with that said, I really hope we can get to work and do a lot of really good things in this upcoming year. So thank you for bearing with me um, with that. And as you will come to find uh, in short order, I'm usually not short for words, but at any time, you can always tell me to stop talking and I'll always try to listen as much as possible. I'll take this time now to talk for a minute, um, introduce all of our chairs, and talk a little bit about what our plan is going forward with our future. Yeah, hey, um, Adil, before, um, yeah, before you do that, a uh, couple of things. I think um, if everybody, okay, first I'll ask Sister Sama to introduce Adil because no, nobody actually introduced you. So Sister Sama would like to do that. Go ahead. We should have probably done that too. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I just, uh, I'm so flattered by all of Adil's comments because, mashallah, Adil is probably the highest ranking Muslim American litigator that I've ever met in my career. As, um, and I'll just read you his bio so you all can be floored and let you all in a secret that he'll probably, inshallah, in the soon future, be our highest ranking judge in the land as a Muslim American, and we're all rooting for him. So I, it's y'all are getting a step up for me. <laughs> okay, so mashallah, I'm so excited for Adil's leadership, and I'm just going to read his bio. So all of you leaders, um, you know, coming up and law students who might want to apply for clerkship to do a good job with him this year so he can give you a job in the future. Um, just kidding. He's amazing. And let me uh, let me just read his his um, inshallah his bio to all of you. Adil Bashir is an assistant federal public defender and appellate supervisor for the office of the federal public defender middle district of Florida. He has nearly a decade of experience litigating over 100 cases involving a complete array of issues across the Federal District Court, Court of Appeals, and the U.S. Supreme Court. His most notable victories include Yates versus United States, Henry Half versus United States. While the majority of his practice involves appeals, Adil is frequently involved in all aspects of trial and post-conviction litigation, contributing to numerous victories on motions to suppress evidentiary rulings, judgments of acquittal and sentencing issues. In addition, Adil regularly writes and speaks at conferences and events of on topics of criminal justice. And most recently, he has led the Defender's Office's partnership with Stenson College of Law to create a compassionate 
release practicum in connection with the newly promulgated First Step Act of 2018. Prior to joining the Defender's Office, Adil worked as a litigation associate at Mayor Brown in Washington, D.C. He is a 2009 graduate of George Mason University um, School of Law. So, mashallah, without, yeah, a round of applause to Brother Adil, mashallah, and um, I'm, uh, we're so blessed to have you in your leadership and all of the amazing, I, I don't know anyone so prolific, and I was just, I mean, I've, I've cited your cases in briefing, I've looked at your work and you are so inspirational and I'm, mashallah, I'm excited for you to be willing to contribute your free time, pro bono time to helping uh, really get our community off the ground and continue this work. So um, thank you, Brother Adil and, and welcome as president. Well, thank, thank you uh, for the, really undeserved kind words. And, and if you'll allow me, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll briefly share one um, uh, personal note, which um, I didn't plan on saying this evening, but uh, just to let you know that Sister Selma is lying because it, it, I am no match. Um, no, she, uh, she reached out um, recently uh, about AMBA and by chance I happened to be at an AMBA event because um, they were discussing uh, racial justice in a case that's very near dear to my heart that one of the panelists is doing an amicus brief on. Um, so I was particularly interested in hearing it. And I can honestly say it was one of the most honest conversations that I, you know, um, I do attend quite a few uh, legal conferences throughout the country and you don't see that every day. Um, and her spirit and, and reaching out, um, it's really, a kismet and, um, uh, and a divine inspiration I can truly feel because uh, I think we all know it takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort. And it's something I've said to myself and to a lot of people, it's very easy to stay on the sidelines, uh, especially in these day days. Um, and I think it's something that we can all collectively uh, you know, preach to our brothers and sisters and to the country that it's, it is about time that Muslims stepped out of the sidelines and spoke truthfully and honestly. And um, as I tell my clients and I tell myself, uh, you, you can't get in trouble for speaking the truth. It's true. You, you, people may try to get you in trouble, but um, uh, as I really say at work um, to every client, nobody pay, they don't pay me enough to lie to you. Um, and uh, that, that will remain true here as well. So I think we all, come from really great backgrounds. And I know in my profession, you learn from everyone, you learn from clients, you learn every single day. Um, I love appeals for that reason. You learn something new every single day. Um, and I think uh, it's a good opportunity to introduce our committees a little bit and starting with our education committee because education and educating our, our membership base and our in the community, not only just attorneys, but also other people is gonna be incredibly important. Hey, Adil, both, um, yeah. sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm getting uh, requests on the side in the chat. Um, so if, um, before we start that, yeah. if we, and actually when, when you start introducing, because we have some extra time, we thought um, when you introduce maybe if each chair and vice chair who's here could actually take 30 seconds to a minute to introduce themselves and maybe say what they, you know, like to accomplish this year, if they have anything in mind. Um, oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, um, before that, if everybody could turn on your cameras just for 10 seconds so we can get a screenshot um, of um, today's event and elections, we'd appreciate it. Uh, and Sister Salma, who's taking the screenshot, by the way? Are you doing it? Okay. Yeah, I can take it. Let me take a few. Okay, we have, I saw Nat, who are we? Ruji, Mir. Um, let me just uh, uh, hide. Okay, great. Okay, I think everybody's on, right? Am I missing anyone? Anyone not on? All right, let's take a quick smiley shot till we can plan a retreat in Hawaii together. Okay, everyone, smile. Ruji, I'm waiting for you for your face, girlfriend. Okay, ready? Okay, one. One, okay, Ruji, I'll wait for you, ready? 
One, two, three. Got it. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Bismillah, Adil, go ahead. All right. Uh, well, thanks so much. Yeah, and I, I um, absolutely, uh, I think it'd be really great to hear um, from all the, the chairs and just a little bit about themselves if they want to introduce the, the new folks and their ideas for the upcoming year. So I think our new favorite, um, I was trying to think if I should call them our, our AMBA Morning Joe, or I couldn't think of a, a better <laughs> um, uh, uh, analogy. Uh, to someone in pop culture, but uh, our education chair, um, brother Ali Tofik and vice chair, uh, sister Dalia, um, if you guys would introduce yourselves and just speak a little bit about the education committee and um, what you're planning for this year. Uh, Salam everyone. Uh, I'm Ali Tofik and this is sister Dalia. And she's gonna talk about what the plan is for the education committee. <laughs> Next to every successful chair is a is the real deal vice chair. Hi everybody. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm Talia. It's almost nodding. <laughs> um, I'm Talia. Uh, I'm a rising two all at Berkeley Law, um, incoming vice chair, I guess. And our plans are to um, start our education series that Brother Adil actually will be presenting on, and you'll see a flyer for that real soon, inshallah. Um, but to start an education series that provides the Islamic perspective on criminal law and other areas of law that you've learned in law school or practice, but don't know what Islam thinks about it. So it'll be really interesting. I'm personally really excited. So I hope to see you all there. I think that's, that speaks for the both of us. Thank yeah. you. The most important part of education is knowing when to speak and knowing when not to speak. So it shows a lot of intelligence on that's what they teach. Uh, brother Ali Tofik. Uh, and education is something I think I'm, I'm particularly excited about this year um, in um, developing out our CLE program, letting our members not only um, uh, get educated, but also get a benefit out of it as well, and bringing others in as, um, to, as we spoke about this evening, demystify the term Sharia um, in the public discourse. And that could be some great work. Another um, absolute vital uh, committee legal resources. Um, Brother uh, Abdul Rahman, uh, if you want to introduce yourself and the vice chair, um, Sister Insia Zaidi, which we're gonna, with our number of Insias, I've been working on different names or different acronyms. So that'll be on the list of priorities to come up with as well. I uh, I think bo they uh, both were unable to make okay. it today because of the last minute recruit, but I would like Sister Sakina Rizvi, who is a pillar of the community and been an activist for decades, who um, was able to serve us this past year. If Sakina, you could just share any words of wisdom at, as the outgoing legal resources chair um, for this new board. Shall we? So I don't know if they're words of wisdom, but um, congratulations to all of you. Um, and, um, you know, I think all of us are really excited um, to see um, what the next year is going to look like for AMBA and with all of you in leadership capacities. I know for the network, for the Legal Resources Network, there's a lot of work. So um, perhaps it's good that they're not here to hear me be like, good luck. <laughs> Um, but honestly, um, I, you know, just hearing from all of you, um, from Adil, from um, Hassan, you know, new and old, um, I'm really excited to see what Amba is going to be doing. So good luck and congratulations to you all. Jazakallah. And, and, and the legal resources is a particularly unique um, uh, field to Amba that I think a lot of Muslim organizations um, sometimes... Yeah tackle in different ways and, and, and really in this next year, building out and becoming a go-to source. I've told many people, my dream is organically when people have a conversation, say, if I'm looking for an immigration attorney, I'm looking for, you know, do you know anyone in domestic violence? I'll just go to the AMBA website or talk to somebody in AMBA. You know, when that, yeah. when that happens, I think we know we're really getting somewhere. Um, and that's where a lot of these conversations yeah. occur and people have these needs. And so, I think my one piece of related advice on that is that all of you should 
should be communicating internally, right? Because all of you are bringing other resource networks with you. Um, and I think that um, information is critical in growing um, the AMBA network, right? Um, so definitely um, link up as soon as you can in terms of providing experts that you recommend in particular areas. I know that um, in the transition material, and I'll be speaking with you know the next uh, chair as well. Um, we there is a specific focus that we've done for GZ for asylum, um, and there are materials that I will transition over for those. Um, and there's areas I know OFAC um, events, um, everything that AMBA does, you know, it's great. It is a collaborative space. So there is a lot of overlap between the experts and the, the resource network, as well as other uh, parts of what is happening um, and what each of you are doing within AMBA. So I, my word of wisdom, I guess, is communication. Um, so thanks again. Should get you to come back as our communications chair, but we'll, we'll wait till week year three. <laughs> but that's absolutely correct. We'll talk about that in just a, a few as well. Um, I think our mentorship chair also um, was unable uh, to make it um, kind of on a short notice. Uh, if Sister Soma, you want to? Um, am I correct about that? Um, yeah, I, I believe so. And I'm um, I'm seeing if, if Usid, uh, I thought I saw Usid on, but he may have not been able to. So, um, but I think it would be good to let the outgoing chair speak a little bit. Uh, so maybe we can um, pivot next to Natalia Latif, uh, policy chair, to talk a little bit um, before we hand it over, inshallah, to the new uh, incoming policy chair and vice chairs. Great. Hi everyone, Um, My name is Natalia. I am the outgoing policy chair. Uh, as Salma just said, I it was really great to get to know everyone. Um, basically a little bit just more about what I do. Um, I'm currently a, um, well, I'm actually in the middle of transitioning offices, um, alhamdulillah, which is really exciting for me, but I am currently a legislative aide. Um, I work in Representative Sharice Davis's office in the House of Representatives, I'm DC based. I am switching over actually into a New York based office. Um, I'm gonna be a alleged aide for um, Congressman Mondaire Jones. He just got elected um, in New York recently this past year. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of like healthcare and judiciary work actually. So. Um, we're really excited to keep the ties actually uh, strong for with AMBA, even though I won't be chair. Um, would love to help um, our new chair out however I can, get advising, uh, just reaching out, feel free to reach out anytime you need uh, help with like strategy for like which congressional offices. That's kind of been a lot of what I've been doing. Um, I've had a little bit of limitation just with like how much I can move. Um, it's weird being like a federal employee and a public servant and also doing this um, and like in politics. Uh, so I had a little bit of like constraint um, with how much uh, I could do, but I am very excited and eager to keep the relationship up. Um, and a lot of it has also just been strategy about how to approach offices about specific issues. Um, outreach for some of the sanction work that um, Brother Muhammad Ali did really well, um, just constituent, constituent letter writing, what that kind of con, uh, con, uh, entails. Um, we met with some constituents and kind of did some meeting prep um, before they were meeting with some Senate and House offices. So that has been uh, kind of a lot of what I have been doing and I'm more than happy to give some of my time up and this coming uh, for the next board and ho help however I can, um, because I think it would be great to grow, keep growing Amba's network uh, on the Hill out as well. No, that's, that's amazing. And I, I uh, really wanna, as we introduce the new chair, just echo and emphasize the real importance of strategic engagement and navigating the spaces of where we live and in, 
you know, in Ameri and being a grassroots organization, but in a political environment, it's just so essential to have that inner understanding. So I think I can speak for all of us that we will absolutely be leaning on you um, and your expertise. Uh, but with that said, um, I would like to introduce um, our new policy chair, and maybe you guys can become our future policy all-stars, uh, Sister Anna Mullick and Vice Chair uh, of Fatima Jaffer. If you guys um, want to each take whoever wants to go first. Um, on. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm really, really excited to be joining such an incredible group of people. I have known Salma for almost 20 years and she has tried so hard to convince me to go to law school. So I am not a lawyer by trade. Um, my career path's not been totally straightforward. I have dabbled between the Hill and a lot of different policy organizations. And then eventually I went and became a high school teacher and counselor and then went back into policy work. So right now I'm back in policy work, but I'm hoping that for the next year, I can, I hope we can gain more champions and allies in Congress. So I'm really excited for this and I hope we all can connect soon over the next few weeks. Thank you. And, and I will spend the next 20 years convincing you not to go to law school because you have proven to be the smartest of us all <laughs> with that decision, along with Natalia. Um, but really, I mean, really excited to have you on board and um, and really draw on that uh, that policy work. And I think sometimes lawyers don't make the best of uh, navigating that space. So having that outside perspective is going to be great. Um, uh, uh, Fatima, um, Fatima, if you can introduce yourself and speak a little bit about your background, which is amazing as well. Yeah, assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Fatima Jaffer. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Um, I'm super excited to be on this board with all of you. I found this out because of Mahmoud. He actually told me about it and invited me to an event. I went to an event, I met some people and I loved it and I wanted to get more involved. Um, and that's how I'm here. A little bit about me. I was a teacher for two years in Orlando, Florida. And then I also taught in Kenya before that over the summers. And then I also have extensive um, experience with policy and advocacy and just gathering constituents here in Orlando to lobby their senators and their congressmen. So that has been my job, my side job for the past year. And I'm excited to continue that with AMBA as well. And I will be attending Harvard in the fall. So I did make the decision to go to law school, um, but I'm hoping it's a smart one. So thank you all so much for allowing me to be here. Well, you, you made the wise decision of leaving the Florida heat in the summer. So that <laughs> as someone who's suffering through humidity right now, um, I can attest to that. And no, thank you so much. And to you, and to, I, I want to emphasize this to all the vice chairs and to anyone who's not a lawyer or younger, real advice that I got early on in my career from great mentors and great partners uh, is this concept of managing up um, and understanding, you know, this organization is non-hierarchical. Um, and I think everyone understands and uh, um, you know, uh, operates that way, but managing up of, you know, that new perspective, that young energy, seeing things from a different lens, being able to take a leadership role at a, at a earlier stage in your career is just so essential and will serve you well in this organization and anywhere else. Um, and I think all of us know, you know, um, older law firm partners tend to be disorganized um, so to, to the extent we can uh, focus our energy and, and use that space here, I think it'll serve us all really well. Um, and I, I'd like to add to that too, inshallah, the, the way that we've structured AMBA is that we hope, you know, every year the, a, a chair will be, um, except for the exception of policy, which requires a unique skill set um, outside of the law, that the other five committees are chaired by attorneys um, and vice chairs will always be students um, and law students so that they can get trained up and you know five years later run and take over some of these positions. Um, 
we had an exception this past year and some of our vice chairs because we wanted to build up the organization with um, some attorneys. So I also wanted uh, Nabil Ansari to chime in, who's um, the outgoing education vice chair, um, uh, who was part of our leadership board this last year. If you have any words you want to share to the incoming board as well before we jump to another committee. Hey everybody, it's a pleasure to uh, to meet you all. I, I'm very excited uh, and optimistic about the new folks we have coming on and the leadership I'm sure you will expertly provide. Um, by all means, please feel free to, um, well, luckily we've got some continuity on the education committee with uh, Brother Eli Dofig staying on. Um, so I'm sure that uh, we'll be in good shape in terms of uh, ensuring a smooth handoff there. And uh, I definitely want to encourage um, him and the incoming vice chair and, and everybody else to um, please feel free to reach out to me and um, and ask me, you know, anything that, uh, about anything that I can help with. And um, I know there, there are a fair number of kind of ongoing projects and things that we started and wanted to finish. And, and so um, to the extent we can keep those balls rolling um i will feel uh um better <laughs> about um uh about the future and um so i definitely welcome uh you all to to be in touch and to reach out and to um ask me anything about that work but also you know really um if there's anything else that uh, i can be a resource for i'm more than happy to um uh, to be helpful in any way I can. So thank you. And um, uh, yeah, best of best of luck. And I'm, I'm very optimistic about what everyone's going to be able to accomplish next year. All right. Well, thank you so much. And you, you, yeah, you've done a wonderful job in this past year. And hopefully we can just, inshallah, like you said, build on that and keep the ball rolling um, and, and just grow uh, in the best way that we can. Uh, so I want to shift now to the um, all important advocacy committee um, and Sister Kalsum and Sister Senya to introduce themselves, talk a little bit about um, your backgrounds and what you have in store for um, advocacy. So, um, Assalamualaikum everyone, my name is Kalsum. I have been serving as the advocacy chair with INSEA for the past year, and it's been such a fun ride. Um, I want to start off by actually saying thank you to INSEA and Ruji and Salma and Muhammad Ali for helping pick up the slack when I actually went on medical leave for a little bit this past year. And they were really great in helping me um, get back on track and you know get pick up where I left off. But I'm sorry, I'm in a little bit of a loud place. Um, but so this past year, we've really been working on speaking to the salient issues of our time, um, really couching our intentions in the principles of the Ahlul Bayt, the way they animated those principles of love, justice, mercy, and compassion that Adil and Salman and brother Muhammad Ali had touched upon. Um, these issues range from you know, speaking out against Israel's apartheid governance in Palestine, to um, Saudi Arabia's atrocities within and without its borders, to defunding the police um, in the wake of George Floyd's murder. Um, so what I would like to see as we move forward um, into this sophomore year is to really take those statements that we've already written and to coordinate with our um, lovely you know, policy committee and our chairs to um, bring and distill those statements into policy points that we can then pressure our electeds with. Um, I'd also like to see us partner up with our uh, lovely education committee and our education chairs to, um, you know, really expand upon our statements and have teach-ins about the issues that we care deeply about um, by way of our educational events. Just recently, we had me and Ruji had actually organized a transnational feminism event with uh, Black Women Radicals. It's a, an organization that we've been working closely for the past year, and that went really well. We had, um, you know, Palestinian uh, 
um, Black, um, Muslim, and Kashmiri activists and organizers and wonderful academics speak to their, or, their um, experience with organizing and what they would like to see um, in terms of, you know, um, um, cross-racial solidarity for our future. And so I'd like to see um, more of those events happen in the future, inshallah. And I'm really excited to be working with Sanya. I know that we haven't spoken, you know, in, in great detail yet, but we have spoken briefly. And, you know, I'm very interested, excited to bring you in and really learn from you and um, learn from your leadership and direction. So inshallah, it's gonna be a good year. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Hi, um, my name is Senya. Um, I am very much a newbie here, but I am so thrilled to be in this space and to be in community with all of you. Um, I'm also really excited to vice chair the advocacy committee under Coulson's leadership. Um, by way of background, I guess I just completed my first year of law school at UC Hastings Law. Uh, prior to that, I have about five or six years of uh, work experience in policy advocacy and impact litigation um, and a lot of community organizing. Um, but I'm very excited to be here and to grow um, as an advocate and a Muslim and a lawyer one day. Um, so thank you so much for including me. Now that, that, that's great. And I think both your backgrounds are gonna just serve really well and something that I'm particularly excited about with advocacy, especially given my background in space um, that I hope to lend at least some advice or guidance. Um, you know, we're in a moment where at least the first time in my career, you, you've really seen a shift in especially criminal justice, um, movement towards environmental justice and real legislation that's being put forward. Um, and I think, you know, this is an opportunity for Muslims to really seize an opportunity to make issues that impact all of us because these are just love, mercy, justice, compassion issues that we can be on the forefront and show not only ourselves, but our communities that we, we, we care about the greater community and the greater, um, uh, not only just Muslims, but the American community as well and the, and the planet for that matter. Uh, so, and, and something I really just wanna to touch on as well that also emphasize this evening, the committees, the way they're structured right now are so wonderful and being able to compartmentalize and focus on individual um, parts, but cross-pollinating and leveraging the networks and resources from others is something that communication, building on that theme is gonna be really important um, and ideas can develop, but you know everyone can work in their lane, but working together, we can really see where the different areas that different pressure points and being able to build upon each other. So policy and advocacy, education, um, you know, re, um, providing those resources. Uh, and that's something I really hope we can work on in this next year and build on that. Um, mindful of the time, um, I do want to, um, uh, the mentorship, uh, do we have our outgoing mentorship chair here? Uh, want to say a few words. Um, and also um, Brother Mahmoud um, as, as the vice chair, also say a few words as well. Uh, Mahmoud, why don't you go ahead? I yeah. don't think I'll okay. say this. Sure. Um, Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, thank you so much for uh, you know, everybody's contributions over the last year. I'm really excited for this upcoming year. Uh, mentorship, I think is really central to a lot of the work that we're doing here. Um, I still remember like how we all started off. Uh, I had just gone into law school. I texted INSEA. I was like, okay, like, awesome. Where is like the legal organization I go and join now who's going to tell me how to do everything in my career? And she's like, it doesn't exist. And then my aunt told me about Brother Muhammad Ali Nakwi. I sent him a message on Facebook. We formed a WhatsApp and Salma came in and she was like the fuel in the fire just took off from there. Um, so I, I think it's really important that we have a sustainable uh, train of uh, people who have strong uh, integrity um, and who are rooted in the same values as us entering into the legal field uh, to kind of keep this movement going and um, you know, protect and grow and nurture the Muslim community in the United States. Uh, so over the last year, I've had a lot of fun 
uh, mentoring undergrads and professionals and other people who are trying to make the transition into law and uh, get into law school. And Alhamdulillah, we have had uh, four people who have gotten accepted into law school through our program. And as of right now, I'm helping them navigate uh, scholarship offers. And um, some of them are into uh, a target school, but they're on waiting lists of their REACH schools. So they're navigating the whole waiting list uh, process, et cetera. Um, I'm hoping to that we can double that number every year of how many people get into law school um, through our mentorship program. And I think, uh, you know, the LSAT and all these other things are really arbitrary barriers that are super classist and ableist and uh, racist and kind of uh, keep a certain demographic from being able to get into law school. So hopefully we can kind of help them overcome those barriers um, and then also knock down some of those barriers on the way as well. Um, and uh, so that's what I worked at as uh, on as the vice chair of mentorship. And then brother Asad, he worked on the other side of things for people who are already in law school, helping them out in succeeding in law school itself and transitioning into uh, their early career as attorneys. So he was working with uh, law students and younger attorneys with connecting with uh, more experienced um, lawyers. And then I was covering the back end of working with uh, people like Mir, who's on this call, and other undergrads or other people who are trying to get into law school itself and uh, trying to really discover uh, a career in law. Mashallah, your your energy wakes me up as I get without caffeine. Um, and it's really, <laughs> I know I it, talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's and it's and it is really it really does warm my heart to hear. Um, I know. A lot of us, when we went to law school, there were organizations, except they weren't Muslim organizations. They went by other names that told you what to do and what they want um, minorities or Muslims to do in order to succeed in this um, country. And it's just great to offer, again, that third space of being able to navigate and speak um, with allies of a different path and a different way to achieve success. Um, so wonderful to have you back. Um, and for everything that you've done, just alhamdulillah and uh, may Allah reward you as well. Um, I do wanna, these are not um, uh, official committees, but again, we're not hierarchical. So other leaders um, within the organization that I do wanna call upon and just briefly uh, can talk about. Um, I wanna start with uh, Sister Aruj, um, our social media manager, resident um, hype person um, uh, to talk a little bit uh, just about um, her background and um, what she does and if Sister Rouge is there. I think she might have just gotten disconnected. Um, so if you want to go to Muhammad mm -hmm. Patan, inshallah. Yeah, so convenient. Just kidding. <laughs> um, our Excellent um, law firm network, uh, brother Muhammad Patan. Uh, you want to introduce yourself and talk a bit about um, uh, what you've done and uh, and reading some of your memo. If you could share some of your advice um, and plans for the following year, I think that's something everybody would love to hear. Uh, and I think it was great um, advice that you gave as well. Thank you, Adil. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm Mohamed Patan. I'm both the outgoing and the incoming Law Firm Network Chair, so no new faces here. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's been an honor to serve AMBA for the past year and inshallah for another year. You know, I think we've done really good work, but there's a lot more work to be done. And inshallah, you know, we're going to continue to grow the Law Firm Network, uh, increase our pro bono strength with the guidance from our new leadership, inshallah. Um, you know, for those who don't know what the law firm network is, it's the, the premise is to provide pro bono support to cases that touch upon Muslim civil liberties. Um, we've built a network, and with the with the actually with the assistance of Sister Fatima, I'm going to butcher the last name, but I'm going to say Nagavinia. But um, you know, we have not started funneling um, the network with cases that touch upon Muslim civil, civil liberties yet. We've had conversations with, um, you know, Muslim advocacy groups um, and, for example, Muslim advocates to fi figure out ways to kind of funnel cases through us so that we can make a difference so that the, the network is used, um, but we're still in the process of doing that. Beyond uh, growing the network, 
We're also working with firms, um, you know, different law firms, mine in particular, for example, to um, sponsor future AMBA events. Um, I would love to host an AMBA networking event in the next year or so, obviously COVID permitting. Um, I know we're all in different places in the US, um, I believe we're all in the US, but it would be good to have an event at some point. And if we can get sponsorship from firms to pay for it, that would be amazing. Um, beyond that, we've also hosted panels. Um, I want to host another panel in the next few months, inshallah, on Muslim women in the field of law. I think that's something that there's been a demand for about the, you know, the difficult um, uh, kind of challenges Muslim women face, both being Muslim then being a woman and, you know, the field of law, which you know, obviously has certain predispositions on who was attracted to big law firms. And I think that would be a great event to have. Um, you know, as a parting note to Sister Salma and Brother Muhammad Ali, you know, the credit for what we've done is yours. Um, you have ser served at a, as a source of vision for, you know, what I've tried to do. And, you know, may Allah bless both you and your family. Um, you know, I want to say it's a loss for AMBA that you're moving away from our direct leadership into the board, but uh, you won't be too far away. And inshallah, our new leadership is going to do a fantastic job. So thank you, everyone. The law. It was it was part of the contract that I made uh, Sister Salma sign that she can't go too far, um, and and she knows I know the Big Island well. Um, I know where I know how to get around my way around there, um, having lived there myself. So she can't hide <laughs> uh, anywhere there. And it is um, it's it's great work that that done in the law firm network and having been at a firm. Um, and being kind of in, in that area, I think a lot of younger students, people, there's a traditional path that you take and you get to a firm and then you don't really know what to do next. And especially Muslims outside of a law firm network don't know the resources that are available. Um, really tapping into um, leveraging um, you know, law firm resources, amicus work in particular, um, finding those Muslims out there that are willing and able to maybe write and talk about those issues. I think that's a lot of great areas. And I love the ideas of really highlighting, um, you know, your, your ideas on um, uh, Muslim women and big law and, you know, the different challenges that they take. That's, that's a long overdue as well conversation that needs to be brought to the forefront. Um, not last, because I do want to make sure we get our interns in, but um, at least in terms of um, our leadership team, um, Brother uh, Saeed, our newest um, arm, which is our Muslim Law Student Association um, liaison. Uh, if you can introduce yourself and talk a bit about your background and um, hopefully being our, our new hype man that will grow our <laughs> membership and really build those partnerships in the law schools. Absolutely. And thank you, Adil. First of all, I'd like to give uh, a huge thanks to Muhammad Ali and Salma for bringing me in and their leadership. Oftentimes, the hardest thing is starting something. And um, they did that along with the founding board. So I'd like to um, sort of congratulate them and thank them. Also to Adil, first of all, I'm looking forward to working with you. I also wanted to, you know, open invitation, no strings attached, but if you are in Florida. I'm a Southern California native. There's no humidity here open invitation <laughs> you can come anytime <laughs> but um other than that i also want to introduce myself guys my name is saeed ahmed um i'll be uh, an incoming 1l at harvard law school in the fall and um, i really look forward to for, first of all uh, boistering the relationships there um in the east coast and within law schools um one of my main goals is leveraging that network um, that we can utilize at Harvard to other law schools in the East Coast and the South and in the West Coast, really leveraging relationships. Um, I really want to work with the social media team to really expand our social media presence um, and have people know about our initiatives and um, what we're doing. Um, I definitely uh, want to see, and starting at my current law school, see how we can leverage the legal clinics um, to kind of further initiatives that AMBA also has, love, compassion, justice. Um, and uh, in addition to that, uh, be involved in organizations and see how we can organize potential events. You know, we talk about networking events, but also maybe bringing in AMBA leadership to different um, events that we can organize to not only 
um, spread our own message, but also in terms of network, uh, networking and utilizing resources. And I really look forward to working with all of you. Great, mashallah. And um, I, I expect uh, all of, well, I expect two things. One, we will, we will have to have a Harvard versus Berkeley West Coast uh, battle in some sort. I don't know what yet, but we will put you guys against each other. Uh, and I expect all the Harvard students to eventually take over the MacArthur Justice Center. Um, and maybe, uh, I know um, Amir Ali um, is a professor there at the MacArthur Justice Center. And that's um, an area where I think a lot, it's gonna be great not only for mentorship, but profile and um, other work. So I would encourage you all to um, tap into that resource and developing a social media strategy in addition to developing our law firm connection, I think is going to be really important because nowadays, it, like anything else we do, being able to do it strategically and smartly with um, a goal in mind of increasing presence, ambassadors, having people at different schools and giving them tasks to actually do at those schools and what in order to connect with the network will be really important. Um, as well, oh, so glad to have you on board, and I will take you up on Southern California. <laughs> except you'll have to deal with the children, so be careful before you make that. <laughs> there, it's all good. They, they do jump on furniture. I cannot stop them. Um, but uh, and, and I'd like to give a shout out to Senya's UC Hastings. Right? Is come? Or are you Berkeley too? No, I'm Hastings. I was going to say, don't sleep on us non-Ivy League law school students. Hey, girl, that's what I'm saying. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm sure that other people are great, too. Hey. We'll just do uh, East Coast versus West Coast, and we'll have Brother Hassan um, in the middle um, <laughs> uh, moderate. <laughs> could do one of those jousting events or something. Um, Omaha represent it. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I mean, even just thinking off the top of my head, it's it's you can always get law students to participate in moot courts and mock trials. So it may not be the worst idea in the world for AMBA to eventually host one of those. Um, and those are sometimes really great events to have um, and put together. But um, we do have uh, two great interns, interns that I wish early on in my career, I had the foresight to actually been involved in anything other than um, worrying about where the next paycheck's coming from and paying for smoothies as I'm drinking um, right now. But uh, I want to introduce um, our two interns, uh, Mir and Fatima. Um, if you're on, um, maybe you can, uh, it's uh, Fatima, if let me make sure I'm pronouncing it actually correctly. Um, yeah. why, don't you, why don't you start first and then Brother Mir um, go next. Sure. Um... Thank you all. I mean, I haven't been an intern for too long, but my name is Fatima. Um, I think I'm pretty much the youngest person here. Um, I'm a high school senior. Um, I don't think there's much left to say about this organization. It's just been completely and extremely inclusive for the time that I've been here, um, helping the mentorship com uh, committee and um, I just hope to keep learning from everyone here um, and aspiring to become extremely motivated and successful lawyers and law students like you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you all for this opportunity. And I, he I hope to keep um, working and expanding this uh, wonderful organization. So much, uh, and brother. Salawat, Allahumma salam, salli ala Muhammad, Ali Muhammad. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mir. Uh, I'm a rising junior at the University of Texas at Austin, and uh, I was first exposed to Amba. I found Sister Salma on LinkedIn, and I was over the moon to find uh, someone who was shared a similar background with me. Uh, to be in the field of law. I moved from Pakistan to the United States five years ago. So I instantly reached out to Sister Selma and set up a call with her. And she got me, uh, she briefed me with everything. And uh, she was really my first mentor I've ever had. Uh, so thank you for all of that. And ever since then, I've been attending AMBA's meetings and I've just really loved AMBA's concept as a whole. Uh, 
Additionally, my past experience, uh, I've been the group administrator for Amnesty International in Austin, and I'm currently interning at CARE, which is the Council on American Islamic Relations. And I'm currently interning as a trade and international affairs intern at the city of Houston. So uh, hopefully, uh, whatever minuscule experience I have, I could put that to use uh, by enhancing AMBA and supporting everybody in all different uh, departments and sectors. So I'm looking forward to the upcoming year. Thank you, everyone, for this uh, opportunity. Thank you so much, Masha. I, I, I want to really emphasize this to the, the, the mentor, uh, the interns. Um, in even, uh, you know, you, you said age or young experience matters. Age means nothing. Um, if you if there's tasks that you're given, if you think there's a better way to do it, if you have ideas, absolutely speak up. Um, I know very early on, it's, you know, in your careers, there's always an emphasis on just wanting to please or just, you know, um, you know, follow through. The, the two kind of most important things an intern really can do, figure out those areas of value added and understand that even the smallest incremental thing is going to be value added, but also, and like you said, you guys are coming from um, really great, you know, experience and really wanting to learn. And don't be afraid to give feedback and, you know, um, teach a dinosaur such as myself. Um, I like to think I'm more of a diplodocus, but not one of those, not the oldest of dinosaurs. Um, you know, new things from the things that uh, you know you're seeing on the ground and seeing in in the space, and you know really entering into the law, law firm world, the law school world, it's very different than probably a lot of us have experienced as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing from uh, that as well. And both of you are in charge of doubling our membership. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> that's on, that's on site. He'll do that probably by the end of the week. Um, I think that concludes pretty much um, everyone. Did I miss anyone who is, here who would like to speak and introduce themselves. Even if you are on this call and are not a, in a leadership position as well, you're of course always welcome to join one of the committees, um, get involved in every way. Um, Brother Zane, I'm getting a, um, would you like to speak? Yeah, can everybody hear me? Yes. Hey, Salamakum, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this new board. I'm not on the board, but uh, I'll continue to stay involved with AMBA um, through through some of the pro bono immigration stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see that the, the torch has been passed. And I'm really grateful to have met both Sister Salma and Brother Muhammad Ali, um, you know, within my first year of practice. Um, and it's really amazing to see people in our community doing great things. And I'm I'm a I'm a Florida native that moved to Southern California, um, so I'll I'll second what Said says. Mashallah, uh, I'm a New York uh, native. Adil, um, yes. Adil, Sister Hannah just joined. So. Oh, wonderful! Before we are able to conclude, Sister Hannah. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. I'm so, so I'm calling from the airport. So if there's like a I found a sort of quiet place. So I hope there's no weird announcement in the background. Um, I'm so happy that I'm able to be here with you all. And I'm so, so sorry about the unpredicted travel plan that caused today's bungle. Can you all hear me? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Um, have you, have, I don't know where in the meeting we are and I'm not trying to derail us. <laughs> Oh no, uh, we are in perfect timing. We were just concluding all the introductions. So um, we couldn't conclude without Madam Vice President. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's kind. Well, Assalamu alaikum, my name is Hannah Chandu. I hope to serve as AMBA's Vice President next year. I've served as the secretary for a good portion of this past year. Um, and let's see, I'm on the West Coast in Los Angeles. I'm a civil rights lawyer by profession, um, doing a lot of work uh, against police departments and a lot of sort of like jail related cases. Uh, I am a mother of a three-year-old 
and um, have been really inspired by this group during the last year. I think Amba is doing really tremendous stuff. Um, and we have a really engaged group of leaders sort of at the helm of the ship. And it's just been really, I feel very privileged to have been able to work with everybody over the last you know, many months. Uh, and I really, really look forward to strengthening those partnerships and continuing the laying the foundation that Muhammad Ali, Salma, Hassan, and many others have laid during the last year. So very much looking forward to more work and more solidarity. And um, thank you so much for having me. Uh, and, and and thank you and and uh and I want to share with everyone and give a message to myself and to Sister Hanna. Um, her words to me really reflect a lot of the the blood of this organization, and you can hear it in her voice. And having been here, what it's meant, um, I think it's going to inspire all of us, inspire me, um, and keep us on that right path of speaking truth to power and really. Um, being a voice for those that have been um, often sidelined and marginalized um, and her experience from this past year as long, along with Brother Hassan and Brother Insia, um, I'm really grateful for. So um, I do want to thank you for taking me in on your slate as well. Um, and Sister Hanna, you'll be happy to know we won by a 95 to 5% um, abstention and Sister Salma was trying to get out of voting, but we scammed her into it. Um, as well. So um, before we conclude with uh, um, a dua, and uh, I would ask uh, um, Brother uh, Ali Tofik to um, conclude us with a dua um, and thank the Alcorn board for one last time officially, but hopefully not in communication otherwise, because I think we are going to stay in communication as much as possible. A couple of just quick logistics things. Um, what the plan going forward what I, um, I would uh, um, like to do um, is Sister Encia, who, uh, if we have a lifeblood, she is our, what, the Mundula Obligata of the organization that we cannot function without. She will send around a, um, a meetup invite um, to figure out, uh, I would like to meet um, within, shortly after the July 4th weekend for our first official meeting as a new board um, and our uh, new executive committee. Um, and we can uh, identify the best time that all of us, I know we're all in different time zones. So it's somewhat self-explanatory. Please take the time to fill that out. Um, something you've heard from the outgoing board, something I'll reiterate tonight. You know, this is a volunteer organization. We're all busy. Everyone's either in school or has work, um, but, you know, to that end, uh, we let's all be, you know, mindful of each other's time and just try to communicate as much as possible. It's something I tell uh, the my team here at work, um, students that I teach as well. No one will ever get upset, you know, if anything comes up, but do reach out, do communicate. Um, we have Slack, we have each other's emails, um, whether it's something big or small, especially when it comes to deadlines and meetings and things of that nature. Um, and other advice that was passed along as well, which is, you know, be realistic with ourselves on what we can accomplish. Don't let the perfection be the enemy of the good and don't let the big idea stop you from accomplishing incremental goals because every day that we push the ball forward is um, progress. No good deed goes unpunished. So remember that as well. Um, and last, uh, which is, um, in setting priorities and listening to everyone and listening to everyone's ideas. Uh, what I would like to do is to um, hopefully by the end of this week, inshallah, by the end of this week on our ideas task board, um, circulate a, um, a draft outline of kind of a strate strategic vision plan for this year of the different committees and the things that we want to accomplish. Um, everyone can take a look, edit, comment on it as we see fit, but I'm hoping to use that as a guide for our first meeting. Um, so we can set forth our goals, the things that we want to accomplish short term, long term, how we're going to go about accomplishing those as well. Um, and yes, the vision board, exactly, um, which is a much better word for it. Um, and it's something I think uh, has works well in terms of holding ourselves accountable, but also knowing, um, keeping in mind uh, the organization's long term goals and how we're going to help achieve those. 
as well. And again, you know, we may not meet all those goals, but it's good to have it down and see how we can each help each other and work together in, in different ways as well. So I think that covers most of the logistics. So do check your email. Do, um, and I will be reaching out um, individually uh, to all the committee chairs in the next day um, uh, and introducing myself. Um, so you guys have my email, my phone number, um, along with the rest of the board. And I really think, yeah, we can just get to work. And if we don't, it's almost going to come back and get really upset. So is Muhammad Ali. So <laughs> I'll, let, I'll one. let Salma take care of that. Should be yeah. Better. That's that'll if that's not our motivation, um, as well as the work that we do, I don't know what it is. Um, and I will ask my my slate mates if I have forgotten anything. Hearing no no's. Um, Michelle, I just add that one year flies. I might have already said this, but it goes by so so quickly. So if you have a vision with your position of leadership, your position of power take advantage um, in this year, inshallah, and uh, don't waste a moment. <laughs> Hope that helps. Yeah, thank you everyone so much and um, good luck, inshallah. We'll be here uh, as your support, inshallah. And are, are we doing a closing du'a? Um, yeah, if, uh, Brother Ali, if you, you can uh, be so kind as to lead us in closing du'a. Inshallah, please let's all recite Surah Asr all together. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد God bless you all. Best of luck next year. Congratulations. Beautiful, long, powerful team. Our, our, next trans, our next transition meeting will be at the AMBA annual conference, inshallah. <laughs> In person. Inshallah. <laughs> Expecting great things. We'll, we'll see you guys soon. I will be in touch with everyone uh, very soon, and we'll take it from there. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right.